Great, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, we can keep on moving. Sounds good. Oops. I think I'll start to bring a popcorn with me too on these starting to get a craving. I'm not a popcorn person either. Whenever I go to the movies, I never get popcorn. What do you get? I actually get ice cream. Ice cream at the yeah. movies? Sometimes they have like, um, you ever heard the dips? They're like these little... Yeah, those are, are good. Are they dipping yeah. dots? Those are good. No, like the dips, like the little balls of icy. Is that dip? It's like chocolate dots, with ice cream on the inside. But they also oh, do I'm have... Oh, um, something else. They I do have different dots at the movie theater I, I go to. I say ours only have different I'm dots. I'm terrible. I bring one. all my own snacks in a backpack. I'm like, yeah. no, <laughs> I want all these chips. The oh, that's the pro move. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> way better stuff for yeah. like a quarter of the price. I'm bad. I've totally brought like sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah opens up a five course long meal. subs. <laughs> I took a pizza in one. <laughs> Jalapeno poppers. Yeah. I'm not kidding. <laughs> To watch like the theater chains. I don't this get live to go stream. to the movies often, so when I do, I'm like, it's an extra special treat. <laughs> <laughs> Keep coming up. Dinner and a movie. No, I like, I always get a popcorn and an icy or icy and nachos. But I have to have my icy. Um, one of my friends back home, he's a little weird. He literally will go to the movie theater just to buy a big tub of popcorn and then go home. <laughs> like, he won't even, like, go just to watch a movie or nothing. He'll go buy a big tub and then go home. Wow. He's got to figure out how to make that stuff at home. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, like, the most the expensive popcorn yeah. option I can think go of. Go in the evenings and be like, give me your leftover popcorn. <laughs> and away. You can yeah. buy a little popper or, like, you can learn how to do yeah. it in the pot properly. That's yeah. what I told him. Like, why don't he just Get make a whole it at home? Jar of it big. Yeah. But he just Big like bamboos. he likes the movie theater popcorn, so he buys a tub and then he like makes it last. He'll go home and put oh. it in Ziploc bags and savor oh, it. Wow, that's not good anymore. If you no. wait, yeah, just will have fresh. If he wants it's to make stale. it like the movie theater, just melt a block of butter in there. <laughs> <laughs> I will let and him. It's know. usually very salty butter <laughs> yeah. too. They sell it in like He still stores. probably won't listen, but what like special popcorn <laughs> butter? <laughs> yeah, like movie theater popcorn oh my butter. God. Yes. Uh, ugh. <laughs> so I like managed a theater for like eight years, and I wow. it was fantastic. Loki, he just dropping oh. that you managed a movie theater. Yeah, that's years? amazing. All it the is Sarah like the old school one to where like I, I was even taught how to you know thread the projectors and everything. Wow, oh my gosh. Oh my God. what? God, Who are you? So cool. Yeah, really. <laughs> Why are you here? How did you get here? <laughs> But I reeked of popcorn forever, so for like a <laughs> decade after, I was like, I can't eat popcorn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I get it as it first popped out, and it was that bright yellow, so it like had the most oil. Oh. And like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good. Yum. Why are you here, though? Actually, <laughs> like, how, did you, how did you well, get the here? Why are we all digital here? now, like, <laughs> it's yeah. not, you don't like wait for them to come bring the whole reels and you get to I know them it's together. like the so threading cool. those. I actually also worked in a movie theater for a lot of years. <laughs> no, <laughs> who are you? Do? You guys are my sister. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. Weird. I always wanted to work at a movie theater. Yeah, and I was looking at doing being a projectionist, but that was right when they were stopping the, the yeah. everything's kind of turned into digital. But it used to be you'd have these giant, huge reels, like yeah. 400, 4,000, 4, huge, huge reels. You have two, and midway through, they'd have to splice it in. Yeah. Man. And you could kind of, so if you looked cool. carefully, you could see a little blip, and that was mm -hmm. like the new reel coming on. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. Have y'all ever been to a drive-in movie theater? I yeah. have, yes. I have not. It's fun. It's yeah. really fun. Is that you when have you like get a good a to tune into your radio? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's cool. You can tune into a radio or they have like a little sound block you can put in your car. Honestly, I think it's better to do that because you got you kind of your battery running in your car to turn on the radio and then it drains yeah. and then when it's time to leave, you can't start up your car. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, my first experience wasn't good. I went with a friend and I was like, we could take my car. And she was like, no, we could take mine. And we took hers, but hey, she doesn't have a radio, so it was like pointless. What? <laughs> so we were just there. Like, oh, it's wow. like, it still has sound, but it's like you can just barely oh. hear it. Oh, that's <laughs> weird. So it was like, mm, we're just here. Subtitles. <laughs> Yeah, the one that I go to, uh, they do like a double feature for each movie, so you get Ooh. two for the price of one. That's so long, though. Just realize how much I miss the movie theater. Yeah. I don't really yeah, have right. one where I live. A lot of stuff coming out now. Like the new Spider-Man. I been in so long, because I feel like during COVID I didn't go at all. Yeah. That's right. That's what it is, too. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. And also, the uh, we talked about this the other night, but there's just... There's too many superhero movies, so it's like yeah, less yeah. other there movies to yep. go see. <laughs> not, a, not a ton that I'm like, I got to see that in the movies. Yep. I don't know if you guys are around theaters that do this, but the theaters that put on, like, you know, older, like, classic movies and, like, mm -hmm. award-winning movies, yeah. that's where it's at. Or, like, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Or, like, anime movies. Sorry uh -huh. to plug, but, like, so cool. So good to see in person. Yeah. Like, I Regal does uh, anime movies. So does the Alamo Draft House. They do, like, older movies as well. I like the movies mm. that where you can like order food there or that they yes. they like, yeah, nicer yeah. Yeah. experience, you know? Yes. Like the reclining chairs. Yeah, that Ugh. makes it worth like not being at your house. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more of an experience. I like IMAX too, but that's expensive. Oh, yeah. We don't have those uh. home anywhere that I know, but I went to one in uh, Portland. It had to be Portland. Mm. Where it's like, yeah, the gastro pub and brewer Brewery, yeah, yeah, exactly. In a movie yeah. theater. We, we have a couple small theaters in Traverse City that have single screens, and we Ooh. do like a Traverse City Film Festival every year. If you wanted to have a boutique movie theater today, like you're saying, that has old classic movies or more obscure stuff, can you make a go of it? Do you or Amber know enough about it? Like, can well, it be made to work? The yeah. person who has them is uh, Mike Michael Myers. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, he's the and one that has them in Quentin Tarantino, you know, too. He has yeah. them in L.A. Mm -hmm. What's that? Quentin Tarantino. You know? Really? Mm -hmm. Theaters in like L.A., they're all purely 70s, everything. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the one is, like, all, you know, set up so it's, like, the starry night. Oh, all cool. Over in it. Ooh. And it has a big old balcony. It's really oh cool. Wow. And then there's the other one that's right by our bay, and it's called Bijou by the Bay, and that one pay plays all of the old movies. Mm. And it's really cool. You go online to buy your ticket, and then, yeah, it's, and it's amazing. Yes, please. Yeah, I like to go do that. I was always a big movie fan. I even saw movies during COVID, and there was nobody in the theater. Yeah. I would be the only person. Another halosaur. Halosaur. Yeah, the place I'm thinking of is Philadelphia Film Society. Mm. That's where they do them all. There's this like huge list of like a hundred. I forget what the the thing is called. Yeah. Maybe Amber, you might know. But like, there's a huge list that like a British Academy or something puts out of like the best movies. And they played. I think I think they're playing them all this year. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, like two a week, I would assume. But they're from like everywhere, like international. So, I'm really hoping I can go see one soon. Got to head up to Philly to see one of those, too. Mm-hmm. There's this um, movie theater in Washington, D.C. I went to this one time. And it's really tucked away. But it's right nearby the Ford's Theater. And you go in, and it just seems very low-key. And... But you go in an uh, escalator. That looks like downstairs. a rock angel. Sorry. No, you're good. We passed it, but there was like a depression that looked like a rock angel. <laughs> oh, uh, angel in the rock. Go ahead, Daniel. Yeah, so you go down the escalator, and it's like kind of a hidden movie theater, <laughs> like underneath this building. And it's almost like a speakeasy where they have like a nice bar with like snacks and stuff. And it feels really fancy, 
but the theaters are also really small too and it's mm -hmm. it's really nice they play a lot of uh, new movies but also indie movies as well so it's definitely worth checking out I forget what it's called though hmm I've always been meaning to take a trip to DC yeah I don't know is this a thing is that a rock is that a, like thing? a thing <laughs> I don't know. I think it's Go a ahead rock. And zoom. Might be a shadow. I think it's a rock. Okay, it's a rock. It mm -hmm. looks like Never a mind. thing to me. I thought <laughs> it was. You know, and then there was that one time that you saw a rock that you said it was funny, and I was like, it's nothing. Let's keep going. <laughs> it's a whale. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was something. Now I just feel delusional all the time. <laughs> Do you guys want to play a guessing game? Yeah. Sure. Sure. How far is Atalanta from the ship? Oh, oh can't we see that? 75 meters. Oh. 75 meters from the, the ship Atalanta? Mm -hmm. Not from Hercules. No, not from Hercules. Okay. Like 67 meters. Oh, no, like 1,000. <laughs> 1,000? <laughs> like, We're like, like I estimate. Wait, you mean, you mean how far? Oh, I thought I was thinking lay back here. I'm oh, no, no. Yeah, lay back. Lay back. Oh. Lay back. Not that would have been a good trick question. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. S I'm saying guessing 1,650 Well, she meters. already said 1,000, so I feel like. But <laughs> that was for depth. But uh, no. Not depth. She's talking about just like the swing. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, okay. So then probably closer to that like 150 mark, I'm going to guess. Oh, um, but I feel like the one, the other day it was 150, right? And it was like way far out. Yeah. I have no idea. What is like it, Cheyenne? It's 80. Oh, oh like I feel hey, pretty good. Really, you got it. <laughs> yeah, it's been up to 150 before, though. It's a good game. I like that. <laughs> we can guess guess the distance is the next waypoint. There's a lot to do here. Is this that? Uh, could we zoom on this right there? Oh, yeah, that. It's a primnoid. Is that one. paracliptrophora, cliptrophora? I always mix those up. Um, we'll have to wait and find out. Go ahead and zoom in. Find out next time on 12 to 4 watch. The whale watch. I said 12 to 4 Ooh, watch. A little <laughs> squishy on the side there. Looks... I don't know. Oh, sea star. star. Oh, didn't have far um, to move. I wonder I think if that it's hurts Paracalyptrophora. Though. Paracalyptrophora. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, I think so. Looking at where it branches from the base. I oh, right, it up right. Yet. Yes. Um, That's good. Thank you. We'll take a look at yep. the pictures. I'm and curious. then there's this little. Oh pinky yeah, a little thing. thing to the left. Actually, can we look at that? Oh and yeah. Two little white ones up above, too. Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, that's is a mushroom like a coral. Mushroom coral? Yep. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's is a sucked it? up heteropolypus, yeah. Oh. So red. All right. We're good here. Yeah, oh. and those two. Oh. Gosh, there's a nice overhang, though. I think there was also a little mollusk to the left, but not that important. Heteropolypus. <laughs> I want to know if the sea stars are like running away from us or if like the current's pushing them off. Maybe both. <laughs> So I got a few jokes coming in from the chat. Ooh. So why did the headless chicken monster cross the ocean? <laughs> why? To get to the other tide. Ah, oh. oh, I love that. That was a funny one. <laughs>
Oh yeah, it's eating maybe brittle stars? I'm not sure. Cool, okay. I gotta go. Cool, no problem. So you like might want to consider oh, yeah, doing maybe. point two when we're on the cliff. We don't have more than a if I stop for a second we're just instantly behind yeah. here. Let's yeah, I think that's a good change. Okay. Sounds good. It's like a, a Chad C star, just really thick. Mm -hmm. Had its stomach out, huh? Mm -hmm. So some kind of goniosterid. Yeah. So Maybe some people Cirsiaster. in oh. the chat are wondering what's the ferromanganese crust that we talk about. So uh, you might see on some of these rocks that look, they look pretty black, and if you look up close, it's like got these little rounded lumps almost, a uh, battery oil texture. And ferromanganese crust is uh, basically iron and manganese concentrating oh, onto these rocks. And these minerals fall out the water column and accumulate on the surface of these rocks. I think it's this one. Cerciaster. Oh, Caliaster. Something like it, yeah. Let's look. Sorry to interrupt, Daniel. No, you're fine. And they do contain trace amounts of other metals and minerals as well, such as uh, cobalt, tellurium, etc. And some of these uh, are key minerals for uh, technology. It's like I'll just leave it up. Making computer chips that go into your phones, computers. So that's something that the ocean is being seen as a potential resource for. But what we're doing on this expedition and with OET, we are just looking to see you know, just the distribution of the ferromagnetic crust throughout the ocean and just looking where it is. A bit more general. But we're not doing any surveying or potential prospecting. We're just doing this for scientific discovery. rock formations um, some sort of fish another Hanson a third okay I see cucumber that type I feel like there's a lot of dead air today, but I also don't know what to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah everybody keep your questions coming in. Um, huh. Oh yeah, jokes too. So what are we most excited to find on this, uh, on this dive today? Mm, I don't think really anything. We're excited, yeah, just to survey the We're area. We're excited to excited look. Excited that it's the first time anyone has dove on this sea mount. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot to discover. A lot yes. to discover. Much to see, much to see. It's fun every time we come down and see, you know, oh, here, there's this dominant sponge and this dominant coral, and mm -hmm. that's different mm -hmm. from this other sea mount we were at. Could we zoom on the sea star, please? Sure. Um, Oh, and, and excited to see coral. how things change as we ascend. It's part of the fun part of, you know, starting deeper and working your way up as you work through different communities, different densities. Ooh, I'm seeing coral in the background. Go ahead and nice. zoom. Oh yeah, looks like another one. Another gonia stereo of some kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and maybe that's Cersei Aster. And baby, baby crinoid. 
And baby, baby oh, glass sponge. Yeah, that's kind of cool to see. Um, can we that's now? That's good there, yeah. If you could yeah, look at the coral behind it. Yeah, can we look at that it. coral? Okay, come wide. Oh, nice shot of that crinoid. Mm-hmm. The colors look kind of swifty -er. So it's a chunky nice crimson get a better pattern. angle on that. It's swifty, I think. Yeah, swifty. -er. Cool. Thanks. Haven't seen a lot of that. I think they did last dive, but yeah. And now maybe can we go up? Oh, and look, there's a uh, another gastropod, perhaps, on it. There's a couple interesting things on it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's a or a, almost looks like a hydrozoan polyp. Hmm. Here, like these things. That one. That one. That oh, one. I'm talking about that thing. I think that's the same as this retracted. Oh, you're right. That's yeah. good. Thank you. Okay. Cool. cool. Okay. Potentially, oh, sea whip in the background. As we get up here, um, it's coral there, but maybe we don't need to stop for it. Oh, well, that's useless picture, <laughs> but I tried. Oh, some sort of jelly thing we just passed. Mm -hmm. Kind of looked like a moon jelly, but that wasn't a moon jelly. It looked like one. So why do we think the sea life is spread thin out this way? Um, I mean, we're still pretty deep, not super deep, but there's a lot of different factors that can go into it. Um, current. Can you just uh, come up a few meters, Sarah? I'm just going to spin out to uh, port and see if it makes the tether look nicer because there's a turn sure. in it. That's from uh, our our actions yesterday. Current, nutrient Rain, flow. snow, yeah. Yeah. Not really much that we can... All right, I got about 25. 20 yeah. Ooh, 25 is that a, is that a fat one? I think that's one of them. Oh, that's one of these big yeah. ones. Yeah. Uh, girthy yeah. sea cucumber. Yeah. Do you okay. want to stop the ship to play with it? <laughs> <laughs> just poke it and see no. what it does. No stopping to, the ship for it. I'm just going to do this little just turn and I'll land it. down in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no stopping us sure? now. We're on the move. Look at it go. Do you still want it's me to go up to 25 or just kind of stay at 20 right now? Uh, it's so should be fuzzy. all right there, I think. Okay. All right. Yeah, I wonder oh, why. No, sorry, come up to 25. We're right, right under you. Okay. Well, Michael's really excited about this, putting a, putting a tether <laughs> wrapping in and everything. No, I'm doing that on purpose because we have a, it looks like we have a turn. Oh, in you're it, getting so rid I'm of one. Trying to oh. see if it, uh, nice. Opportunistic. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, why is it so wide? Everywhere. Don't know. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. Anyone That's ever watch fish hooks? Yeah. You know no. that one fish that you can see his brain? No, I don't remember that, but that was <laughs> weird. That was a Ooh. very unhinged show at times. Oh. So cute. Oh my gosh. I love these things. Oh, oh, oh. It's getting weary. Oh, is it going to lift for us and oh. do some spins? It's showing its <laughs> mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh -huh. This is the fish I was there referencing. There it goes. Uh, oh. And we have liftoff. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. I don't know why I'm not taking a highlight of this. <laughs> <laughs>
That's really something. Third, oh man. You know, like when you think of different ways to swim, this it's is not the motion that comes to mind first, but it's, it's kind of like know. the kind of like the butterfly one. Yeah, isn't it? right. Yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> I can't remember uh, what it's called. This motion, it but it's what worms do as well. Just undulating. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah, sounds Sarah, good. Right. Keep an eye on that. I don't know how high that outcrop is, but. Might be not. I don't think it's much, but. I need. Mm. And we got a fish. Is that another fish? Yeah, that looked like some something. Circular and longitudinal muscles. Well, don't think they have those. Come on up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, I forget the name. Uh. So the current's getting really bad again, so they're going to go ahead and turn on the main engines. Oh. Alrighty. What a shame. Hmm. So this business of returning on the mains now all of a sudden, um, I don't Ooh. want the ship, only only order it straight ahead, right? Don't try and get it going like quartering anything like that. I don't like that, it's liable to lose it. Okay. Because we're basically live boating like that. I don't know. That's something we kind of have decided to do in the field here. Are they on just as, is that like a precautionary if we, if DP fails? Or I'm, I'm not used to turning those on. Uh. Hold on. I'll. Uh, she's on right. I think you're still on. You are still on SPL. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Uh, Gotta have my thing switched on. Another sea cucumber. Another shrimp. So for those of you who are asking, did we get donuts? Unfortunately, not yet. But when we get back to land, I think that's going to be one of the first things I get. Oh, can we look here if we're able? Oh, it's a nice little crevice right here. Actually, that's just a house where we're good. Was there somebody who mentioned that they have eaten a sea cucumber before? Hmm. I think there was. Um, I don't think anyone has eaten one here. I was say not on our watch. I want to. I want to try one. I don't know if anyone here has, though. Hmm. I think that's all you. I don't know. Yeah. They look too gross to eat. Well... I'm sure if prepared correctly, I mean, it's probably a similar texture to like escargot or something, you know? They're not that like gelatinous, I guess. Like they're gelatinous, of course, um, but like they have some hold to them. So probably just a bigger version of like snails. Oh, well, I want to see right? the tether. <laughs> see if it looks better this way or not. Let me uh, try and get up a little oh. bit ahead of you here. Can you drop the camera down now? Wow. You want me to drop the cam down at all? Yeah, sure. Come down. There's a lot of rocks here. Oh, big shrimp. I'm going to try and get the delta lower. These are good ones now. So let's see when it folds lower. on itself. Okay. It looks a lot better, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm happy. Where are we ship move-wise? We couldn't stop here, could we? Don't we come down a little more? 
Yeah. Could we stop right oh, here? I think you're yeah. good there. We could. I just put another ship move, but I could cancel it. Yeah, that'd be great. Can we... Uh, what are you after? Rocks? Yeah, these rocks are really nicely broken <laughs> off from this feature above, it looks like, and they're sitting on top. So if so in here yeah. there's okay. something we could we'll grab. Try and, try and go for it quick, because even though we've stopped, we're still going to yeah, fall swing in. forward. What's right under the lasers now, like that one? Yeah. Chrysa Gorge to the right, I think. Oh, this actually looks pretty big. Uh, what about that over on the left? Is that big? <laughs> I'm so bad Let's with see scale. See if I can get in there and poke around. Yep. Looks like a bunch of. Or this here that might also be large. Two worms on the left, or something. Yeah, I can't quite see, but a lot of colonization on this mm -hmm. little under. Watch the ship. I hear the mains kicking on there. Or even what's right under the lasers, that. Let's look at that first. It's nice and small. Uh, sorry, which, what's your first choice? Let's first look at this one here, above, right above there. Like this one? Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh, that's more in there than I thought. Sediment. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh. Could poke this and see if that's less buried too. Yeah. Yeah, it's like your I don't think we're gonna have top bumpers. Have time. Right That's okay. That. It's just under it, I think. And, nope. uh, what about this? Try it. Yeah, that looks good. We can just take that. I'm just going to take it away. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> just grab it. <laughs> Doing what we can. <laughs> So, Loopy, in the description for this sample, could you uh, include that it's from right under this All right, I'm coming um, up. sort of pillowy feature? Switch the cameras over. Bio box. Some sort of something on it. Well, a couple things. Bryzoan, maybe? Yeah. I think we found a Bryzoan last night. Oh, yeah? We subsampled on it. On yep. the rocks? Yeah, it nice. looks really weird, though, to not look, um, yeah. Starting to flatten out here. Jesus. All right. Do you want me to go to log the sample? Um, or kind of wait until he puts it in the box. <laughs> you can you can start. Did you get good pictures of it? Run away. Maybe. Run away, camera. Here, I can take the pictures of spinning. Go back. You want to start writing out the description okay. there. Could we uh, go a little slower with the spin quick? Thanks. Sorry, the vid cap doesn't like the quick spin. That's good there. All right. Hey. All right, right side. And uh, what do we have Try open over there, out. Loopy? Um, we have E and F. All right, do, do E. What's in there so far we got? Uh, we have three rocks um, and then a primnoid. Okay, I've got a lot of rocks. Okay, well, well, yeah. Adam, hopefully one of these is good for you. <laughs> Box come out a little more? Or yep. is that it? Mm. Oh. Are there, the we nice. there we go. There we go. So E. What is going on in still cam? Oh, I think that's just. Oh, a handy, not B. No, no, no. Oh, e, no? E, e, no, e. that's got something which, in it. Which, can I push e. it over another one? 
uh, all of them. You can do F or E. The other ones. Oh uh, no, sorry. Okay. Uh, well, no, I think I might have it. Yeah. yeah. Where do you want it? E. E. He's the big one. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> there we go. That was a nice. nice. Sorry. <laughs> That's all good. Yeah, the other attention. ones are all full up. Yeah. But we could probably fit another yeah. big rock on top of that later if we need. We can tell the difference. That one's pretty small. Woohoo! Great. Thank you. Welcome. All right, we can continue so ship moving. When did we? All right. Oh man. Look at that camera. Which one are you look at? Oh yeah. The, the, the waves. No, the waves. Oh yeah. Let's go. Right. Hmm. I see some potential sea whips, primnoids, singular branched corals. Do we want to zoom on one or catch up? Maybe let's catch up first. Cool. Looks like we're getting into more denser region. Some sort of, what's a, uh, do we have a moment to look at that yellow thing there or we need to get ahead? I don't know, we can, we can look at that. Hmm. Black coral, pair, I mean, okay, get go ahead closer. And oh. Plexorid. Yeah, paramarisid. Mm-hmm, right. Okay. That's good, things. Roger. So, one one of our um, crew members actually has tried a sea cucumber, and that was Annie. Oh, I do remember her telling me about it. Yeah, and it is a, a quite the cuisine around the world, especially in Asian countries. Sometimes it looks like eating a pickle, and they say it's oh. like tofu in that it's bland at first, but it absorbs a lot of flavor. So interesting. Interesting. I always say that I'm willing to try most things once. Wow, that is huge. Sarah, look at oh this. Oh yeah, that is big. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> wow. Can't imagine eating that. No. Or um, touching it with my bare hands. Okay, I would love to oh, touch a sea cucumber. They're fun to hold, yeah. Really? Have yeah. you touched one before? Yeah, yeah. You Sampling. See them scuba diving all the time too. Oh, yeah. How did they feel? Like, what was the... Uh, like, s soft, but then they can also adjust their... Contract, I'm assuming? Connective tissue, sort of, to become... They can become pretty dense in your hand, too. Oh. Um, something, something water vascular system? Is that it? Uh, for why they can change their texture like that? Uh, yeah. Mutable or connective tissue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the oh, way it looks they much hold better water. That way. So, I think I, what happened. I don't was know that it has to do with their water vas vascular system. Or, yeah. Wrong name. We are really moving right now. I feel like it's always our oh, watch that, that we'd be like rolling around. <laughs> rolling around, yeah. <laughs> I know, I saw that tiny little spongy thing. Is that what you're looking at? No? Yes. It looks like a little dimple. Ooh. What is that? Like a and a coral next to it. Is it a sponge Juvenal? of some kind? Like a little sponge of some kind. Yeah. Like a little Cheerio. It, it looks like a ring. Cheerio. Mm -hmm. Donut. Oh my god, donuts. Can't donuts. Oh yeah, we were talking about favorite donuts last night. What's your favorite donut if you like donuts? Yeah. Oh, oh man, I love so many different donuts. <laughs> I like there's another air stage from mm -hmm. I like the really airy ones. Mm. Okay. With, I can't don't like when they have like a super sweet really dense. uh like frosting on top, oh, you know, okay. like talking simple glaze. Okay. But then I cake donuts are really good too. Oh oh but like the the 
airy ones when they have, I don't know if it's potato flour, but it, you know, it has that like. Mm. I think I know what you're talking about, yeah. Oh, so good. Do you mean How the cruller? No, not the cruller. Those are good too, though. Like the Krispy Kreme type? <sighs> Something that uh, I forgot is a really good donut. Um, apple cider donuts. You oh, ever yeah. Try those? Oh, those yeah. are good. Those are so good, warmed up and are nice and. How do you feel about warm. filled donuts? I think those always just get too sweet for me, too too much. Fair. Fair. But you know what I mean? The the airy ones, they're almost a little yellowy. I'm pretty sure it's because it's with potato flour. But I'm not sure. Let's see. Some really important Googling. <laughs> potato donuts. Potato donuts. That's what they're called. Like sweet potatoes? No, no, it's no. Like you know potato flour bread? Like mm -hmm. there's bread that's out of potato flour. It's really good. It's a little yellowy. <laughs> it's like, God, spongy's not the wor word for it. I don't know how to describe it. It's just a, a slightly it's like different flavor, but it's so cakey. good. It looks like this? Uh, Yeah, yeah, they can look like that. Hmm. Well, well, you all need to go try them now. I was going to say, I'm going to have to go find some. <laughs> Which shouldn't be hard. I must say, I'm a basic glazed donut. <laughs> That's all. Um, I've tried eating donuts like with the icing on top. I just kind of scrape the icing off and eat the donut. <laughs> um, and then I've never had a filled donut. It kind of really depends where you go, too. Like, I Dunkin' Donuts? No. Can't do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this? I don't know. I like duck and donuts. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. If we're able or to look. Just the simple glaze one, you know? Yep. Zoom in. Might just be some nothing. I say, yeah, uh, what are you seeing? Oh, oh no, it's a sea star. Oh. It's something. Oh, Crumpled up. Interesting. Isopod, maybe, to the left? Like this, is, this is an interesting right here. thing, though. Some kind of weird slime star. Yeah, and super then light ice color right there. Oh, that's a chitin. Oh, chitin. My bad. Hmm. Right. Nice. Thank you. Cool. Full wide, please. Have a cookie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, any of it. Slime star. I do this thing when like it's snack time or something and I'm really hungry instead of saying like you need um uh sustenance. I'm like I need substance. <laughs> 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 I like, do it all the time. I mean you're People not are wrong. like what you just say? <laughs> well <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> Immediately like how, when like we leave, we when have we get like, to port. Yeah, we already have one field trip for like what, shaved uh. ice or something? And now <gasps> we're going to have another one for donuts. Oh my god, wait, okay, have any of you ever had mochi donuts? Nope. No. It's Never heard of it. Oh, Halosaur. Um, so good. Sorry, I haven't really had good. anything but a glazed I donut. I bet that's a thing we can get on Lulu. <laughs> I'm looking at Please. Please. Lulu. Yeah, hello, sir. Um, they're really good. They're like kind of, they're chewier, but they're not really dense, if that makes sense. Yeah. They can be sweet, sense. but they're very good. That, like a rice, rice flour type. Yeah, I can see that. I think they're made with, um, well, it's a called tapioca. Or something tapioca flour is no, mochi not usually rice based it definitely is hold on i'm mixing up my my flowers tapioca and rice flour okay okay nice fishy Areas. Oh, oh. 
All right, so we're not using the main engines anymore because the current has gone down. That's good news. Um, however, it's still not amazing out there, and Manuspid? we might have to use them again. Um, so we still have like that 30, 40 degree radius that we can go. So um, okay. we can start trying to head over uh, at like, um, yeah, we can go pretty much straight east if that's an option. Yeah, I think 90 should be fine. Okay. Let's start with that. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. Um, All right, awesome. Oriole says 90 is good. Could we maybe go to the right over here if we're able? thought I saw <sighs> some sort of coral sure. at that base. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right here. Hmm. How are we doing sample-wise? Just curious. Um, in terms of rocks or uh, bio, <coughs> we got very little bio. There's from okay, yeah, and the bamboo. I think. Um, okay. Yeah, and then we got like coral branches. Oh, so we have three hemichorallium. Yeah, maybe. So yeah, we have three. Yeah. Or some kind bio. of coral. Actually, is that I kind of enolapsemia? I kind of get confused between the hard corals and hemichorallium, but I think that's. Hemichorallium. Could we zoom on that a little more? Do we have any more zoom? Get in a bit closer. Um. Um. Oh, I can get a picture actually, and we can look at it there. Yep, that's good. Thank you. Thanks. We're good. Yeah, closer up looks more hemichorallium. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. This is a nice what big angular rope wedged well, rock. Pathies again. Yeah, these are some cool rocks yeah, right here. Yeah, I wonder what happened. Suddenly, like, big fractures. So in other areas in the world of ocean science, we also have other uh, ocean institutes that are also participating in their own dives. Some of them are our partners, like the Schmidt Ocean Institute. They're currently doing uh, live broadcasts of their dives out in Costa Rica. Just so feel free to uh, stop on by there and then come back us to here on Nados Live, out here in the Central Pacific Ocean. So we're still moving at point two knots. Let me know if you want to change speed as we start going we'll do. a little bit laterally across the slope. Thank you. Little bathy pathies. A little unbranched coral. Actually, not very little, but you know what I mean. Sponges, little sponges in there. All those little sponges. Oh, wait, up. where are you looking? Oh, down there. There's oh, like five oh, I of see. Them. Come up a little faster. Ah. There we go. Woo. <laughs> All these little hyaline mm -hmm. sponge. And I wonder if this is about to get very rocky up here. No, it's just it this looks ledge very flat. And then it, sonar, it's not really steep uh -huh. after this. Uh, but if it's, you know, I wonder if it's hard ground. 
Um, do we want to look over there or no? Zero nine zero. Look where? Here? So. Oh, yeah. Could we look at these corals on the left quickly? Sorry. Sure, yeah. Oh, and then there's these ferronemidid sponges or something. It looks yeah. Like. Makes sense that there's a bunch of stuff right on this ledge. Some really opportunistic grounds for nutrient flow. Go ahead and zoom. So it looks like some sort of primnoid to the right. That's some stuff. Look at the sea star. Yeah, another really one. Curled up sea star. Yeah, uh -huh. so similar type, another most likely to what we saw before. And it looks like it's been chomping on this coral. It put in work oh, on this yeah. coral. <laughs> it uh, is eating well. Yeah, could we zoom on that a little closer if possible? The sea star? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. Thanks. Whoa. Okay. And then the coral maybe to the left. I think it's another hemichorallium. Hemichorallium, yeah. Both of these. Yep. Yeah. And then a little bit below, I think, is a black coral. Where where did you see that? Uh, if you pan a little bit below to where like the base of that bigger. You want to leave this one? Yeah, we yeah. can take that one. Okay, full wide. Right. A little below. There. Where? Or is that the same one? Oh, that's the same one we were just oh. zoomed in on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just a little less dead. It's all good there then, thanks. All right. Then the Pharaonemonid. Yeah, I wonder if it was just a hyalinema where we could see the, the mm. threads really well. Uh, yeah, right there, this this one. Oh. Uh, zoom in there quick. I'll catch up a little bit. Yep. Sure. Look at that base. Oh. Is there yeah, like another. Is there like a dead? It's some kind of pheronemidid. Mm -hmm. Now, those are the best bissel threads. Oh, look oh. at here. Wait, look over here. Ah. That's good, thank you. If we can look to the, uh, yeah. they, I think they got to catch up. See. Okay, oh cool. yeah, I don't know what that is. That's, that's cool. small. That's big fractures here in this rock flow. Not sure Basalt why that flow. is, but yeah, I don't it's know. very interesting. Looks like that whole thing just separated. Yeah, it looks like that, what's, that looks like what it could be. Ooh. Uh, Maybe just size Oh, what's that profile. fish? What is that? Big fin. Oh. Is that a oh. batfish? Yeah, it does look <gasps> like a batfish. That is a batfish. Uh -huh. wow. Oh, nice. Batfish. Do you want to stop the ship to look at it? Um, oh, we don't need to. We don't need to stop. Ooh. We don't have to look too long. Just a quick, quick look would be nice. Oh, ahead, look zoom. at that face! Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, so oh you're joking. <laughs> oh, the googly eyes. Oh, oh. <laughs> it looks like it's smiling. What oh. a strange fish. Oh no. Oh, oh, wow. so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. One. That was cool to see. Oh my god, wait. Let me see I've never seen so one camp. swimming. Oh Usually god. they're just chilling. Oh. oh, it's going right in the trench. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. Bye. So Looks disappear. Like a, what else is lurking down there, you know? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Welcome My to the deep buddy. ocean. So cute. Uh, another stocked sponge of some kind. Probably um the other one. <laughs> Not sack of calyx, but the other one. It doesn't look like balsoma or colophagus. It's um Hold on. What is salic uh sa oh god. Uh where is it? Mm -hmm. No, 
another ledge. Oh, hey. Another big shrimp. Yep. Aris, how do you say it? Aristaid? Aristaid. I think Aristaid that's the not, the not chubby swimming leg variety from what it looks like. Oh, do we have a... Oh, never mind. Lots more unbranched corals around here. Like uh, some kind of stock duplicated. Mm hmm. Did you put in Loopy when we changed to this new substrate when it became like those big rocky features? Yeah. Okay, great. Primnoid to the right and still can. Whole oh bunch yeah, of there's other some bigger fans. Could we look to the right yep. over there, please? Ooh. There's a that couple in a row on this ledge. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That really tall one is cool. Yeah. I don't, I don't Lots of think growing. you usually see them with that... Uh, long initial stock. Do you want to zoom in here? Yeah, both of sure. these, please, if possible. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Wow. A little more zoom. So this is a nodal branching bamboo. Ooh. Good catch. That's great there, thanks. And then if we could look at the coral on the right, sure. whatever primnoid that was. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was a primnoid, but now it looks like there's bands. That's actually yeah. a bamboo. Mm-hmm. Cool. Internodal? Uh, oh, I can't, can't quite tell see. Yet. I think it might also be nodal. Go ahead and zoom in more. Let's see. Um, man, those bands are tough to see. Yeah, it's it's not really branching here. It's further down. Oh, right. Wow. Cool, though. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, full wide. Ooh. Ooh. So, so many oh, of these little jelly-legged ones. Oh, jelly, jelly, jelly. Oh, we got another right, one. Right. This one looks slightly different. That's a yeah, it's got four legs. And it's also the way the uh, things are. Wait, this is, hold on. This oh, one looks oh. like. <laughs> it's all in the camera. Yep. Oh, that oh one looks look at a dance. Nice. All right, thanks. <laughs> I really like these rocks over here. It looks yeah, like there was just a lot that was broken off somehow. Yeah, they're pretty. Daniel, I like your description. Joey with legs. 
I had to type something <laughs> quick. It almost looks like Apollo 30. <laughs> jelly. I mean, yeah. Have you seen The Amazing World of Gumball? Yes. <laughs> so there's this one episode where um, Richard, instead Ooh. of giving them a dog, got them a snapping turtle. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> it tried to bury Darwin in a lake to eat later as a snack. <laughs> but then he came up to the surface and was like, you thought you could sink me? I'm a fish with legs. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that episode. <laughs> I watch too many cartoons. <laughs> it's really fun to see fish with like legs though here. Like for lack of better terms, like quote unquote legs. The angler fish that walk, they're mm -hmm. like modified I don't know what type of fins. Pectoral fins? Y yes. My fish anatomy is not there. <laughs> <laughs> If it's not a clownfish, I don't know what other fish there is. <laughs> and always I know that's because wow. Finding Nemo. <laughs> really big corals to the right. On that ledge. Do y'all know about that one fish that it... This is a big ledge and still can well. So we've got yeah. a bunch of bamboos on the right. Oh mm -hmm. wow, a lot of stuff floating by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this repositioning is great for seeing other stuff. Could we pan to the right a little bit, Michael? Yep. Thanks. There's a Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep. You want to go see the coral? I think we're okay just looking at it from here. It's another mm -hmm. bamboo, but just surveying Fun what there to is. See. Almost looks like a spider web. That, one. though, um, oh, that might just be a crinoid. Whatever big thing that is. I think it's a crinoid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We don't have to go look at the crinoid. And then another one of those. Oh, there are a bunch actually up here of those bamboos. Yeah. We can see in... Er, can't see it in Atalanta yet. It's there, coming. There it is. Ooh. Candelabra bamboo. That's my name for it. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the first one to call Ooh, it that. Looks like something was eating that bamboo, that unbranched bamboo. Not sure what. Oh, we are just moving along. Love it. Oh, it's a huge one. Yeah, we're seeing some really this big look. Loopy. Oh, yeah. Those are the keratoicid. Care Another predatory. Oh, our first Oritogorgia. Oh my gosh. Could Draw we zoom on the sea star predation uh, first and then the Oritogorgia sure. please? Would, again? would, um, would someone be interested in -E O-I-S? Would this be potential for sample? Who's that asking? Would me, sorry. Oh, uh, I don't think that we need to. Okay. Eating away. Yep. I wish one of them was facing like, or yeah, I guess facing towards us so we could see it chomping. But hey, what are you gonna do? Were you just asking about a sample? Yeah, but we're good. We may want to soon though. If we continue to see these, you can yep. also really see the bamboo, like what we refer to as bamboo, like those bands. Looks a lot like bamboo. That's a good zoom. Thanks. Okay. Well, what? And that looks like a Ritagorgia bella. Yeah. Do you want to zoom on the other coral? Uh, I think we're, I think okay. we're good.
Let's see it in still cam, thank you. I think there was also a Victor Gorgia over here. Oh, really? Yep. Did we catch the purple? Let's see if I got it. No. <laughs> oh, kind of. Oh, yeah, I can see that a little. Yeah. So for viewers at home, what is the still cam? The still cam is basically a really high definition camera that we use to get really cool shots. Um, we don't project it onto, you know, what viewers at home can see, but we do put the pictures up online once we filter out what actually looks good and what doesn't. Um, because I'm kind of manually changing the settings as we move along to make sure that everything doesn't look blown out and looks HD, looks good. So if you're curious, you will see them at some point, and I believe they're in the gallery portion of the website. Daniel, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yes, I believe they are, yeah. But yeah, we'll have um, photo albums coming up soon with many of our still cam photos on there. Great shots with very interesting and uh, informative descriptions of what we've been seeing down here in the deep ocean. So cool. look out for that. And it'll That's be... really cool. Mm -hmm. You'll find that under Expedition NA-149. I was just pointing out the cool, like, fracture down the middle, kind of. Another huge bamboo. Ooh. Oh, a big unbranched one. Oh, there's a lot of things growing on yeah, this could we one. Look? Yeah, that coral on the bottom left. Sure, yeah. Probably just a bunch of snake or brittle stars, but still fun to look. And if you could mention Loopy then, if you haven't already, that we're right around waypoint two, that'd be great. Go we ahead. So. Great, perfect. I'm all into the rocks here, and I got the other one in front oh, of there. That's all right. It's not going to be great. It's okay. Kind of looks just set down here. Primnoity, yeah. That's good, thank you. Okay, full wide. Maybe mention that since we had, if you, oh, oh, look. looks like you're already doing it. Halosaur. But that since we came into that, like the rocky hey buddy. terrain, mm -hmm. we've been seeing a lot more bamboos. Ah. So Cheyenne, I have a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Another so while we're talking about moving the ship, how does that relate to um, the ROVs down here in the water? Yeah, so basically Atalanta can't really move forward and back, she can just turn around. So the ship is dragging Atalanta, and since Hercules is attached to her um, through the tether, Hercules kind of has a 20-30 meter radius that it can go away from Atalanta. So if we want to move both of the ROVs, we have to move the ship. So we've been moving the ship pretty constantly, and um, Atlanta's been going pretty steadily east now, and Hercules ahead, has Sam. does have the freedom to look around, but it still has to follow the ship in Atlanta. Fly trap. Yep. They saw a um a spotted one. Really? Last watch, yeah. Spotted Venus. Yeah, it was like out. this whole area was like spotted. All right, this is good. Thanks. Oh, Chrysogorgia in front of it. And um, Sarah, I think you're right. Next time we're in a good position to let's take a snip of one of these corals. Cool. We might want to consider stopping the ship since um, Atalanta is still pretty far behind, so she'll swing forward. Okay. 
let's do that then. Of course, as soon as I say to do that, they're going to be no more Go crosses on. <laughs> No more. Oh, actually, there's one to the right. Yeah. Big one. Do you <laughs> want from one of these ones? Uh, yeah, yeah. Around? If this is a good area, yeah. Great if you, you just want think a there's a time. A snip? Snip yep. and yeah. Or a Whenever snip? we snip, I think like 15 centimeters is a good amount if we can get that much or more, 20 centimeters. Yeah, these okay. things are um, quite prolific. <laughs> this is the bamboo from that. Yes. Yeah. And if we can just put a snip in the forward bio box. Sure. Do you want one with one of these associates on it? Yeah, what is, yeah, well, let's get one of those associates. Like, so that maybe this that. branch cut off here. Yeah. So I think also in one of the samples Sarah, we found. Sarah, can you try and get me the bubble cam out over the coral? There's like a Tina 4 is what Brian said. Hmm. I don't think it's that, but. Oh. Terry. I don't know what that is. A hide. I think another. I know oh, that. they're everywhere. They're all over, yeah. It's I guess we'll to find out. <laughs> oh, yeah, and look, it's been making its way. That's eaten. Yep. So. Great. Yeah, if you can get one with one of those orange yeah, things on it. A long Ursula snip would be great. Find any zoom there? Oh. So that is that. Oh, that's I attached. see. That's all attached. Okay, mm. then then we don't need too far below this. So you just, just below where it branches? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Just. Just to get including that Including the branch thing. and the unassociate. Yeah. yeah I got blind here. Um, so I got the bubble cam here in the corner. Or okay, I don't know. Is that a on it? more to the right. <laughs> Just waving around in the dark here. <laughs> There's also some others if it's easier on the left. Yeah. So but there that way. Just a little more that way. I think he's got it. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. All that right, is forward, a long Linda. one. Linda. Nice little grab. Yeah, that's great. Tool tray out, or wait a sec. Yeah, you can go to. Is there anything in the front Nothing already? Nothing in the front. No. Okay, tool tray out. Okay. Okay. So really quick for those of you at home who are wondering, the other institution doing live dives. That's yeah. the Schmidt Ocean Institute. They're currently doing a dive off the coast of Costa Rica. You can catch them on YouTube. Oh, like spaghetti. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> get, get the little lollipop piece in there. It yeah. does look like lollipop. <laughs> it's if like it's easier to just snip a new piece, uh, that's fine too, because you did get the associate with that. So. Probably, hey. Yeah. Do you want me to adjust the bubble cam again? or? If you can. Yep. Yeah, and so now it can be whatever is now easiest for it. you to grab. Um, yeah. Sweet. Or takes a second to adjust. You can zoom out if needed as well. Oh, now I'm into that one. Uh, that's not the one I want. Uh -huh. What about this one? That's good. That should be yeah. enough there. This one here? Yep. yep. Oh, she's sliding. Nice snip. I keep forgetting that. I don't like the bubble cam Where set up anymore. Jam? It's all it's terrible. <laughs> it's all terrible. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> focus. It's just no, it a mess over there. <laughs> You're basically doing it with one camera now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you can fold it up, however. It's 
okay if we snip the top off. Tray in? Or so start closing the box. See what happens. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, there we go. Do you want to just smush it in there? Or? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, okay. It's okay. All right. All right. But <laughs> I, I like that it had to be a headless chicken monster. Yeah. <laughs> And where do seals go to unwind after a long day? Ooh. Um, wait, you said Navy seals? No. Or just seals? Seals. 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 <laughs> the barge? Har bar. The sand bar. Sand oh. bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know, once it hits 5 o'clock, they're out there on the beach. Oh, this is a, a G, a G, G star, G what? Sure basket is star. A G. Mm -hmm. so oh, um, a, I don't it think starts it is. That G. looks like a, can we zoom on that actually, a please? Star? Which oh, one? actually, no, it's here. Not. It looks like a chrysogorgid. That is a chrysogorgid. very strangely shaped. Really uh, Gorgonocephalid is the word you were looking for, though. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead and zoom. Oh, wow. And we have another, oh, that is, I don't think that's a It's R like a word. long, strange, stalked chrysogorgid. Wait. Squat With lobster. a fun squat lobster associate. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey. Uh, it's two little eyes. eyes. Wow. All right, I think That's we're good. good. Things. Yeah. You said it's Chrysogorgia, right? Correct. Not Chrysogorgia, yeah. but Chrysogorgid. a Chrysogorgid. Yep. Trying to figure out which one. Well, such a small difference in the spelling. What's the difference? Uh, no. One is one is family level, and the other one is a genus. Okay. So we yeah, we just said family. Chrysogorgia is the genus, so but Chrysogorgia D is the is the higher level. So like Aritagorgia, uh, Metallogorgia, those are all genera within the family. Oh, I think it's this one. Uh. I don't know though, it looks sparser than that one. But that's closest, yeah. Closer. But yeah, we can leave it at that. Yeah, no, but it would be good to figure out if that's something We've seen much before. Right. It's definitely, yeah, definitely not something we've seen. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, do we want to stop the ship and consider a sample? Uh, we don't have to go back yeah. for that, but if we see another one, maybe. We're just thinking. Yep. Huh. <coughs> Phenotypic diversity, everyone. When you say phenotypic diversity, what do you mean by that? Well, I mm. more mean phenotypic plasticity, but um, basically, oh gosh, I just got it whipped around. <laughs> um, basically, like a lot of the corals that we see, even though we can say, oh, I think it's this one, um, they all kind of look different. There's not one sort of way that each species looks. And even if we think that it's a certain species, we can't really tell unless we do genetics with it. And some corals look really, really similar to each other, and we honestly don't even know if some that we think are species are actually species. They could be like ecomorphs of each other, or um, yeah. But what I mean by phenotypic diversity is just like how they look is very different from organism to organism. The idea of phenotypic plasticity, which I guess comes into play here yeah. a little bit too, is that mm -hmm. with one with the same genetic code, uh, phenotype is, is kind of what you see, what, what something looks like morphologically in the end. Um, like a genotype, that's the code that you have. The phenotype is what that code ends up making you look like. Exactly. So with the same code, you could have the same genetics. You could have two different sort of shapes or morphs, uh, even though the ge yeah, your genes are the same. Mm -hmm. And that's... Often environmentally influenced. Mm -hmm. So, say if, like, 
I had my grandfather who had green eyes, but that doesn't get expressed later on. Is that like more of an environmental um, factor or? No, no, that's that's like actually your genetic code actually, being yeah. different from your grandfather's and you having uh, different alleles, maybe a, a different dominant allele. I mean, eye, t eye color is actually one of those things that's a pretty complicated mix oh, of multiple genes. Actually. But um, sorry, just kidding. <laughs> no, th that's when with the exact Move same, a uh, whole exact same genetic code, pretty mm -hmm. much, uh, or at least very very similar that you could look um, different. I think you're right that this looks closest to what we saw. So I have a question for you, Leela. Mm -hmm. Do coral polyps share nutrients between themselves like other colonial nadarians, or do they just grow in the same structure? Well, I don't think they share. They they share like a neural network, right? But they don't share like anything else. They're I think all the whole organism does share. Oh. You know? Let's find out. Wow, it just suddenly just <laughs> even right, right in a trough there, yeah. <laughs> it was like a slow motion, like rodeo. <laughs> 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 and stuff. Yeah. I don't uh, know specifically for these I ones, see. but it's definitely, po yeah. Yep. Often the pulp share. Right, right, right. Oh, wait, hold on. Unlike soft corals, let's look at soft corals. Oh. Because <coughs> I, I don't know, when I studied corals, that was m more like reef corals, but. Oh, right, yeah. Um. That's all reef related, too. We need gorgonian polyps. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my friend just texted me saying that she saw us on her TikTok feed. Yeah, I think I think Gorgonians so also, fun. yes, are connected. Yeah, I had okay. some friends who uh, uh, saw us on TikTok too. Like, so cool. Like the um, jellyfish we saw the other day already has yes. over 100,000 likes on TikTok. Oh my gosh. The Narco Medusa? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's so cool. So if you're tuning in and you're interested in following us on social media, we are on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And that's usually at Nautilus Live or at EV Nautilus. Seeing a lot of the same stuff. Yeah, which is... Surprisingly, like, uh, can we look at this? Yeah. Sponge. I think it's a hyalinema again. Hmm. <coughs> Go ahead and zoom. Yeah, the lack of, I guess, uh, within, like, within grouping diversity is interesting. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it just looks weird with the rock in front of it. Yep. All right, we're good. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. I have such a hard time telling Norella and Paracliptra far apart. It's hard. Yeah. Because you think, it's like you think you find one thing that's characteristic, that's right. and you're like, nope, it's no, not. No, you're wrong. <laughs> that's hmm. the fun about deep sea. Or about, I mean, even shallow water, same problem. True. Yeah. So many cryptic coral species. So it looks like we've got many people tuning in from all around the world. we got people coming from Saudi Arabia, Portugal, the Philippines, Norway, and Greece. 
Wow. Hey. All the way down to Barbados in Spain. Cool. Yeah. Hi, everyone. We even have people tuning in from Denmark, as well as the Netherlands. And they come in to us with a joke. And they say, how many cucumbers does it take to make a soup? And oh. not sure, but too many cukes spoil the broth. <laughs> oh, that happened today? <laughs> wait, wait. Can we <laughs> add that one more time, that <laughs> joke? Yeah. How many cucumbers does it take to make a soup? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Not sure, but too many cukes spoil the broth. <laughs> yeah, that's like exactly <laughs> that. that I feel like today. they're reading our mind. <laughs> there was a there, there was, was a pickle there pickle, incident. Pick, pickles in the soup today. <laughs> <laughs> that's gross. It's unexpected. Like what happened today? Caught me off guard. <laughs> I got I got a whole bowl they of a uh, veggie soup. Cause I was like, oh great, you know, like just mm -hmm. vegetables. Now I'm eating it today. I mean, I it took was a just bite vegetables. And I was like, it's really vinegary. Look, like, what is going on here? It's because there were a whole bunch of chopped up baby pickles in it. <laughs> <laughs> so Innovation that excites. <laughs> yeah. Got to get creative. <laughs> were they like chopped up slices of yeah, pickles? Yeah, chopped up slices. You know the baby pickles that are out? the Or the small pickles yes. that are out? Yeah, like slices of those. Wow. So many. So, like, yeah, it, actually, was like, it was, it was like 30% really percent that. Why were they trying to I use I thought so it was pickles? like asparagus or something. <laughs> <laughs> okra. It <laughs> just sounds wrong. Same it was, it was, was wrong. It like, was so wrong. There was such a density of like chopped pickles. I was amazed. <laughs> <laughs> I did see someone grab a bowl of soup and then like a minute later get up and dump it all out. <laughs> <laughs> so I did not get sued. <laughs> That's brave. Did you see me do that? No. <laughs> no, you took your sweet time. I, I, I like brave. hit it, it was nice like shoes. shamefully, like very carefully. Oh, when oh. <laughs> no, it was the captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I love that he did that. He was like, I'm going to make a statement. He was like, nope. I'm not going to get sued. He was sure it was Borch. Maybe it was Borch. And for context, oh, the everyone. Borch is great. Yeah. The food is not bad. It's it was really just good. a no, no. choice. You today. just get really you good. just get creativity yes. moments yeah. sometimes. Yeah. It I is really what good. We though. Have. Was this like what lunchtime that this happened? Yeah, uh yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because it was burgers for dinner. Yeah. Four gears. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's the weekend and you know what that means. On Ice Sunday. Cream. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Can you believe we already only have a week I and a half left? I was literally just about yeah. to say. Yeah. We're talking about it before this watch. Mm -hmm. Last two Sundays ago, I remember being like, oh, we only got two more sun two more ice cream Sundays. And now it's like, wow, we are nearing on wood. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. that's a pretty long one, too. It's yeah. like, is it five? Well, it's five weeks door to door for me. Maybe it's like more like closer to four weeks sailing or it's four and a half maybe or something. Yeah. But anyway, at some point it took off. I, I found it slow at first but yep yeah now it's like i don't know what day it is ever ever mm. but then all of a sudden it's sunday again yeah and you're like what i Whoa. was just putting instant coffee on my coffee ice cream last week <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden yeah that's like who, who knows what the flavor's gonna be Ooh, yeah oh wait that's kind of uh yeah can but we, the we thing on that is there a penis fly uh, drop anemone that on a yep. cyanoid yeah but that looks yeah. like <laughs> haven't seen yep. that one before uh go ahead and zoom Oh, and Victor Gorgia yeah. to the right, I think, too. That's new. Yeah. That's interesting. How is that, how is that head Possible. supporting that? I say it looks very light. It looks strained. Like <laughs> right. How is that eye not falling off? That's incredible. Is it oh, attached to two of the arms? No, I think it's just, just that one. It's just the one, yeah. Weird. It's facing towards that other branch, but... Oh, hey, look, he already lost that arm, or <laughs> it already lost that arm in the back. Sorry. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, that's it's wild. Arm is there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the arm in the background. <laughs> oh, oh. Huh, right. looks like an eyelash. We're good. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thanks. And then did you get the Victor Gorgia loopy that's in the back right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right oh. oh, look at that small... Do you want to zoom on that? Sure, we can real big. quick. Yeah, big. 
super small Arvidogorgia next to it. Really? Yes. Actually, let me make sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, small Arvidogorgia. Go ahead and zoom. Like, I can't see that at all right now. No. I have no idea what It is, is camouflaged. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Look at those. Snake oh, stars. Ooh, that stem. Beautiful. So oh, really? pretty. I just love the purple. Yeah. I know. It's so awesome. Sea lavender, almost. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Thanks. All right. We can get a get ahead. Purple. Head. Yes. Coral. Oh. Wee. Ah. I feel like corals would be very crunchy if something ate it. Well, their polyps are fleshy, and that's what things eat. So there's nutrients in the polyps. They're sclerites, though. That. Mm usually not what they go for. Oh, that's a good question. Actually, no, they don't only scleractinians. Might be. Has anybody noticed the random picture of Billie Eilish in the corner over here? <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. It's like a little shrine. Oh my gosh. It's a little shrine that's like uh, where that wooden box is. Yeah. There's just a little picture of Billie Eilish in the corner. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. It's been there this whole know. time. Well, if uh, Billie yeah. Eilish is tuning in, welcome aboard the exploration. <laughs> <laughs> Billie Eilish is actually on board today. <laughs> the live air entertainment for us on this cruise. We do bring out musicians. Yep. We do. Mm -hmm. We Nautilus do. Nautilus has a band. I still want to hear it's a this secondary, band. It's a secondary specialty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did hear that someone has like a ukulele. Yeah. Adam. <laughs> yeah, Adam the does. The chief, chief scientist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was important for him to travel with. I think like at the beginning of the expedition, I had my meeting with all my mentors on board, and he like, sat there and was just playing it. <laughs> he was supposed to make a song for me, but you never I, did. I, I don't. Yeah, we'll I don't think he finished um, it. <laughs> all right, we're seeing some bigger fans here. Yeah. Could we look at what all these associates are, real quick? Mm-hmm. I'll just add really quick that apparently there was a comment the other day, and someone said, "Can you zoom in on Adam?" Go zoom, ahead, zoom in, in. on Adam. <laughs> not, that's not creepy. <laughs> <laughs> they do have that Whoa. zoom cam that they use Ooh. on that watch. Yeah. It's I like a like close-up on stars. Adam and Jules. Brittle stars. I was yeah, they do. The they bottom. do the front, the back row. <laughs> See that at the bottom? I say, yeah, on their watch, they did the back row. On ours, they did the front. Elephants front I'm row. okay with that. We know ours. Right. We're, this We're camera shows here. everybody. Yeah, I don't, it's too... I don't, it's because no. on that other watch, they're always showing, like, their drawings and stuff, you know? Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Which, Luby, sometimes you doodle stuff. We, we can yeah. show off your drawings. Did you draw, you drew, design this? No. Oh. I think Paula did. I did the you flower. You did that? That's pretty. Thank Baby you. Highland Nemo. I told him that picture. we should have a drawing contest between the watches. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I did my work for the birthdays today. <laughs> I don't think I can do any more. I liked your mermaid. <laughs> your stick. It was a mermaid. <laughs> it was amazing. I was like, yeah, you should add a mermaid. She's like, I can only draw stick figures. So like, there's the bottom half is a mermaid, and then it's like a very abrupt transition from like the bottom of a fish to a stick figure. It looks like a torso bag. and upward. <laughs> well, it looked like a sleeping bag. I should have drawn mermaid man and barnacle boy. That's tough though. Well, they're See? just little cartoons and simple shapes. Oh, do you guys remember? Sponge. Like the mermaid tails, like ten years ago, my sister had one. Oh yeah, I do remember. Yeah, that. yeah. That Actually, she thing. had two for no reason. I, I don't know why she. Could we zoom on one of these spindly sponges? Um, I think we're seeing. I used to have like a crochet like yeah. blanket, but it was like a mermaid tail, so oh. it was like I put my feet into it. It's hard to tell because that other one doesn't right. look called fakeasy. It looks almost like. I a don't know what happened to amphi it. Amphidicella. Mm. Go ahead and zoom. Oh, I think that's not Caliphacus. 
Uh, it's Actually, very hard to tell from this side. I gotta see the attachment point on the other side. Dang. Um, is there any way we could pirouette around it a little bit? Yep, I'm going there. Thanks. Oh, chunky. Mm. Um, can't tell quite yet. Um. Oh, it's Colophagus, yep. Colophagus. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. There it is. We Someday can move I'll along. get these. Or Roger. Someday I'll get these sponges down. Someday. Know that part. <laughs> One day I'm going to get these pillins down. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You're ever improving. You can do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Practice makes Both perfect. Yeah. I got Chrysogorgia down on how to spell it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. like, it's a few of them I got down, but yeah. I started oh, a, a long stock. Yeah. Some of these sponges look like a nose. Like, you like, said what look like a nose? Like the sponges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like a pig nose, almost. Yeah. Or just owl Does it look eyes uh, looking at you. Fairly steep in Atalanta, like 15 meters northward, or no? Yeah, north yeah. is mm -hmm. the the slope. Yeah, that yeah. wall. Yeah. It, it yeah. looks fairly steep in that camera. Yep. Yeah. Just for a bit, probably. Just a little. Hmm. Probably only 10 or 20 meters of it max. That's all I've there. seen so far. Like you think? Looking at the at high pack. Yeah, but that's all like that's not doesn't it's all like interpolated and everything, right? Right. There's something under that coral right there. Like that ridge there, that's pretty steep, but I don't say it lasts for very long. Right. Okay. But like, do you want to go over and try and look at it? Uh, sure. Maybe let's. It's just over away there. from us. Like I'll go over there, but I don't know how much. I think. I think progress we'll, we'll make. actually, if we continue at our heading, we'll kind of get towards that. I think. No, uh, uh, Cheyenne. No, no. no. East, oh, you're going east. continuously that way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So we've been skirting that kind of. Right. I know Adam kind of wanted to stay along the bottom. I don't want to put us in a position where we won't be able to come back in this direction. But it would be nice to look at that feature. It's close. Like more. I can go look at it. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, So that's north. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just the slope. Yeah, it's just the slope. It's yeah. just it's steeper right here than right. it has been. But this like it's probably just like this. Yeah. <coughs> you see Sarah's coming up a bit there now. Just watch when it comes around again, you'll see it's like relieved. A bit. It's just like, like this, I think. Okay, got it. So it's just a big rocky flow. Yeah. It's probably got a decent bit on it. Well, maybe we could travel. Make sure to travel more over the rocks. But I know we have, yeah, continue in the same direction we've been going. Mm. Although I guess it seems rocky where we've been too, even in the flat area. Yeah, the waypoints have us going yeah. like pretty flat until we get to the end. Yeah, and then we skirt up. Okay, that's fine. We'll just continue along the base of this feature. We don't have to be exactly along the waypoints, but just in the direction that's comfortable for the ship, that's fine. The path you're on has you going across like flats and just skirting the thing the whole time, right? Yeah. yeah do you, yeah. you want to go up it? I do want to go <laughs> up it, <laughs> personally, especially because at 1,500 meters or so is, well, let's Prime look at depths. Time. Where's, where's <laughs> like, uh, where's 1,550 on the high pack? Um. Can you see that? 
I can't see it on high pack, but I'm looking at it on Rovnav. I'll just take a second. Okay. Because it's slow. I mean, I think it would be more interesting to skirt up at a slightly higher, uh, shallower depth along that feature. Yeah, but you could almost go normal to it because, like, you can definitely do the ship's head. Yeah. Which is like 70 or something. Yeah. You could yeah. probably do 50. So you're uh, doing 90 now. Yeah. 1500's all the way at the top of the feature. 1500's the very top. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ah. Uh, you good? <laughs> yeah, it just, RovNav does not like scrolling in and out. I don't know why. It just gets angry. Um, yeah, if we could next ship move, maybe go. Uh, Another thing to consider is if we go all the way to the top, it's probably going to be a lot shorter. Yeah, we're not going to go all the way to the top. Cause, well, I just want to maybe contour this at a slightly shallower depth than we are here because oh, I, I don't really oh, want to stay yeah. in the flats down here mm -hmm. um but i also don't want to get us into a position where then because we've you know moved the same as the ship's heading then we can't really then they don't then it's uh conditions aren't good to continue yeah you kind of top out the, the other way so um hmm. Yeah, if we went roughly the ship's heading, could you draw that line for me? Yeah. Okay, uh, a bit more eastward. Yeah. We could always just start going the ship's heading until you get to an area you like and then start going east. And you, the ship will be fine with that? Yeah. Okay, let's do that then. Let's let's go. The start with the ship's heading. Hey, little fish. Allosaur. Oh, two of them. About to intersect. <laughs> About to collide. Oh, just kidding. Actually, nope, that's not a halosaur. The one in, in front of us is. In the uh, background, background, sorry. Yeah. So we're restarting the DP real quick. It got Actually, tripped. Oh, yeah, he's all okay. sliding off there. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, there is two of them. Hmm. Just kidding. Could you uh, log that, Loopy, please? Or uh, come up a little bit. Uh, that we're restarting yeah, DP because they up. lost position. Yeah, start coming up. Just be safe here. Yeah. One, two, So Sarah with an H, uh, your sister says hi. Oh, oh, my sister! I wonder <laughs> which one. I feel like it'll be Becky. I feel like it'll be Becky. I think on one of the um, on the previous dive on one of the watches they found a uh, actual sea spider, which is, I thought was awesome. I wish I saw it. And there is a sea creature that I'm absolutely enamored with for some reason. They're not actually spiders; they are arthropods, but they're something completely different. And they have this body plan where they're so like. Their main like abdomen area is so thin and small that their legs are much bigger proportion. I've really so lost it. Yeah. Basically, their internal organs are inside their legs. I'm gonna flip out around and uh, go in a tall mode kind of thing. Keep coming up. Okay. Coming up. And so, yeah. 
they are found throughout the world's oceans, but they can range from Zoom in size. closer on that for me, please. I thought you were saying to zoom in on the blue water because I zoned <laughs> out for a second. But yeah, they range from the size of a dime You're coming up. to bigger than a so dinner plate. Uh, and then release your auto heading. around like 10 11 right now what's that uh, oh yeah 10, yeah. 11 yeah I just um that's good for now we're as long as we're clear of stuff that's and good. let me yeah. try and try and uh, clear that Delta over time Yeah, so I put the negative one wrap in it, and it looks pretty, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we still keep coming up? <coughs> just real slow. Uh, yeah, just yeah. I want to, I just don't want to. Keep coming. What's the um, minimum safe uh, depth on your, what's the, what's the, what's the highest uh, thing around us that we can possibly be driven into. You mean uh, in the direction that we're drifting? Yeah. Or Roger. Take it to, uh, I don't know, take it up another few. Okay. 1625 here now, it's probably fine. Maybe 1600, there's something at higher than 1600, I can see it in sonar. Um, looks like we're clearing it there. Just keeping the ROVs at a safe altitude right now as we position the ship again. Yeah. Okay. We'll just go to 1600 and hold there. This will do. Yeah. Wait for it to get back on track. <laughs> Look at that. It's just <laughs> Need some elevator music. Oh, speaking of music, station. Let's 
so <laughs> that brings up the, the question of uh, what do we do to keep ourselves entertained aboard the Nautilus? <laughs> Um, well, we're generally kept pretty entertained up here these days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, watching the live streams is a way to, you know, entertain ourselves. <laughs> um, I stare at the water a lot. I thought you said you stare <laughs> at the wall a lot. Wait, are you talking lot. about like in general on the show? Oh. Wait, during the stream? No, like um, on the ship. Oh, in general. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I stare at the water, water a lot. <laughs> That's good. Not a wall. No. Okay, good. Um, and there's a, a lot wall. of people doing puzzles. Yes. Yeah, but that puzzle's got to go. Doing what? Puzzles. Puzzles. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, people have been stuck on that blue one. Oh, yeah, that one's been go. torturous. All blue. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally <laughs> just one color. Yeah, it's I only got one, one piece color. on that. Yeah, that like looks that's a nightmare. I go, I find one piece, and I feel like I, I've done enough. <laughs> yeah, me <laughs> too. I haven't even gotten one, and I feel like I've been pretty good at the previous ones. But, um... Yeah. The puzzle's of a hydrothermal vent, but mm -hmm. it's like all fuzzy, so, so fuzzy. it's really just Wait, blue. this, this, oh, that's, yeah. a, it's a hydrothermal vent? Because it yeah. looks but to we me got, like a cloud with we got like the vent, ocean though. and sky. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So ah. like the sides are just blue water. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. a, I couldn't yeah. even tell if that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the other thing is we do these puzzles without, uh, Using the box. Someone brought out the box. Rules. Oh, someone brought out the box. Yeah, yeah. and it, it looks so was, different. You it have was to look still at no it. help. <laughs> like the box is like beautiful. It looks like a vent, but the puzzle itself horrible. Oh, they printing. just the saturations yeah. all off. It's just yeah, it's yeah. Oh my gosh, the one with the elephants and the tree in the back. That, that was, was so hard, but <gasps> so that fulfilling. That was kind of hard. God. But well, I so I have like not gone near the puzzles because I'm like, no, no, I'm gonna fight it, you know. And then the one <laughs> night that we had the night off, I was like, oh, maybe I'll go like look over here. And then it's all the weird shapes. And for like a half an hour, I could not figure out one piece. <laughs> and I was right. like, I have to just get one, you know, just and one. Yeah. I know. And then Emerson came over. <laughs> And then we spent four hours finishing it. <gasps> four <laughs> wow. hours. Wow. An hour, it was like, okay, just a little look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are wild for that one. And then at 4 a.m. we didn't even like say goodnight. We just like got up and <laughs> left. <laughs> okay, well that's that. <laughs> we were so tired, but we just could not walk away. <laughs> that's so great. So I have not touched another puzzle since. <laughs> this is what we do, everyone. This is it. <laughs> Um, I like to look at the back deck, too, when we're diving and see what face we have. Oh, um, yeah. This one, I think since TJ came on, we oh, haven't really had we like, gotta, distinct yeah, faces, get but TJ up to speed with this that. one's kind of like a, you know, where it's like the colon and then the um, that greater than sign. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, the moon was awesome tonight. <gasps> yes, it oh, was. Yeah. Uh, and God, it's the best when they shut off those lights. And it's just incredible. Yeah. I need to look briefly after this watch. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should probably be better about getting up a wee bit early and going up to look at the stars. Early. Yeah, and going to see yeah, a sunrise. Yeah, I haven't been catching them. Because mm. we haven't had, like, good enough weather usually for, right. like, 8, you know, 9 p.m. Yeah. Tonight was great. Mm. It was awesome. It's I went pretty. there and sat there for, like, an hour oh, to where when so you nice. and I didn't, like, put my hair up. So oh. when you come in, it's like a rat's nest. Yes. <laughs> and it's like really Wait, humid. Wait, you were on the monkey and deck? <laughs> and you had service? Up top? That was strange. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What? You had service well, up top I of the monkey deck? I had service briefly once. Yeah. Well, and like I'll listen Couldn't to music to that call. I downloaded. Oh, yeah. Like I'll go up there and listen to music. and. Yeah, I listen to music up there a lot. That's nice. The tragic part is the lack of service near the tub. -tub. Um, oh, yeah. Or it just drops off. Yeah. Well, I agree. Anything. You can't call anyone from there. Very sad. Yeah. The temperature. Tepid tub. At least we can tune out and uh, be in the moment while we're out there. Yeah. Maybe that should be our team name. Team Tepid Tub. Tepid Tub. Tepid Tub. No, I like, I like Wall Shark better. Well, the whale watch. Sure. Well, sure. Whale watch. Whale watch. Whale watchers. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of something that was like notable on our watch, but I don't. Uh, that anemone. But the hydrozoan. We but can't like, call it our, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, don't know why I said anemone. <laughs> it's okay. The Medusa. 
Yeah, Man. Medusa. That's a big one. <laughs> Medusa. We got some great shark coming at us during yeah, the Yeah, we did have a good well. shark. Yeah. 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 Hmm. There's one video I have of a shark that was coming towards us, but then a squid just got in the way and inked. And I was like, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I've been hoping for um, like a shark to charge at something near the surface. Mm. But it was cool watching them when all those squid and uh, yeah. uh, mahi, mahi. mahi Mahi were around the other day. So what are we doing right now with Hercules and Atalanta? We just thought it would be nice to stare at some blue water. <laughs> <laughs> People always ask. Some people are asking chatter. about the midwater. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're exploring the water column. <laughs> so we're actually doing a time lapse. <laughs> <laughs> so our ship has a dynamic positioning system, and that's how we move during our dives. We like turn off the main engines, and we use smaller thrusters to move us. However, sometimes when the weather's really bad, it like trips and we have to reset it so right now it's trying to find the current um for the for the best most stable position you have to be facing into the wind and current so right now it's just calculating what the current is but it's alive now so that's good that's good So it was my older sister, Becky, who commented. And she just messaged me. And she's like, oh my god, I can hear you. I heard you talk about the soup. <laughs> <laughs> soup. What's everybody's favorite kind of soup? Oh, man. I know what my least favorite is, tomato. Hmm. Least favorite is tomato? Yeah, I don't like tomato soup. Yeah, I don't like Excuse? Yeah. Not even with, like, uh, grilled cheese? Nope. It's oh the only oh. way, sort of, oh. but it's kind of too close to ketchup, which I also yeah. like. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see that. Why, a warm V8? No? <laughs> yeah. No, not at all. Um, let's see, favorite soup. I think, I think I said mine before, but it's pho. The ocean. <laughs> yeah. True. The ultimate soup. The ocean. One soup that I make that's really delicious. It's is, already seasoned. Uh, butternut squash soup. That oh, it has, that yeah. Really good. It has apple and coconut and a little bit of curry, oh and gosh. it's very good. Mm. Yep, that's what I was going to jump in and was say, especially in the fall, is butternut yeah. squash soup. Yeah. Is it really sweet, or is it like kind oh. of like a... Sweet and savory. sour kind of thing. Savory, mm -hmm. okay. It's a little sweet because of the butternut squash and the apple, but then this the curry in it and the coconut makes it really, I don't know, almost Thai. Mm -hmm. What is the soup? I said butternut squash soup. <gasps> oh, I'm just waiting I love to see if the ship that. is going to hold. I've never had it, but I keep seeing it on the back of the coconut milk. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Right. Imagine if that was butternut squash soup. Oh, it would be so nice. That's actually a thing that would be good to bring. In the future, like soup. Yeah. yeah. I like. I didn't even. It didn't even come to me to like get cans of stuff. Like that's yeah. something I could have brought, but I was like, mm, I'll bring seven tea bags. <laughs> 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 that's good enough. It'll just make the non-chip food even better. Mm -hmm. Yes. When we get off. Yep. Yeah, like those mochi donuts and the uh, shave ice that we're going to get. Ooh, that could uh, be like a discussion topic. What things did you actually bring onto the ship? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Future discussion topic. I brought a lot of my own coffee from Seattle. Oh, There's nice. This, uh, my favorite, which is Vivachi. It's uh, Ooh. so good. <laughs> That's awesome. So I brought Excuse some, me. some of that. And Sour Patch Kids, which I ate too fast. <laughs> <laughs> As you should. <laughs> yeah. The sour sweet and they're gone. <laughs> From Costco my problem is is that I have large quantities of the same snacks.